I think we had two reasons when we, when we conducted the program for tonight. The first one was about uh, how is the life of the returnees. We wanted to know what are the difficulties, the social conditions, the political conditions, especially for women when they had to return. And when we speak about return, we doesn't mean uh, only these people from Europe. We, we had much more people from Iran or Pakistan had to return to, to Afghanistan. And we wanted to know how is the living condition of the returnees when it comes uh, to, to, to labor. Why are we focusing on labor? Because the international donor community is focusing on vocational training. They train Afghan refugees in, in, in Pakistan, for instance, uh, in vocational training. But we wanted to know, does this vocational training the Afghans receive in Pakistan has any influence on then the situation when they had to return to Afghanistan. So this was the number one reason. This number two was about uh, the, the situation in the country, about uh, the internal displaced people, about the drought and the problematic situation in, in, in Western Afghanistan. Back in 2000, in the second half of 2016, uh, uh, more than half a million Afghan refugees were uh, uh, forcefully returned from, from Pakistan. Uh, uh, so this massive influx uh, uh, exacerbated the situation, the, the, the socio-economic situation of, uh, that Afghanistan was already going through. My research was on uh, labor market in Afghanistan and, and uh, the integration of the returnees from Pakistan into Afghanistan into the labor market. Uh, uh, this research was uh, uh, we the, from the Vienna Institute for International Dialogue and Cooperation conducted the research with the help and the field research with a local organization in, in Afghanistan. Uh, this, uh, we specifically focused on uh, the informal sector and the status of women in the in the labor market. Always I'm thinking if you were smart enough to use um, the huge amount and the time that the international community is spending in Afghanistan and do some things for the people of Afghanistan and with the people of Afghanistan, we would be in a better situation today. We would have a better institution in the place, we would have better services in the place to create job opportunity for them. But unfortunately, most of the times things are happening out of Afghanistan in a very air conditioning room. They are, they designed the project for the people of Afghanistan and someone went to Afghanistan to implement that project with a very high cost without knowing a single thing, without knowing nothing about Afghanistan. Do your organization also help women in the labor market? Yeah, of course, we are helping them, um, teaching them some business skill and also marketing, uh, which is really, really the concept which is missing out by the international community support. They're always uh, giving them some skill like tailoring and uh, poultry and stuff, but they never taught them in a nice way how to deal with the, with the market and how we should cut the hand of middleman in between. So that's why most of the projects were not successful. And um, so uh, our organization is not only giving training, we help them to build their capacity by skills, as well as teach them how to, do to, the, to go to the market. And financially, um, we give them uh, financial business training, how to run their businesses, because a component, a project with one component of give them a skill is not a successful um, project at the end when you are teaching women or any community you give them some skill you have to give them financial um, uh, business training you have to give them marketing training you have to help them with their uh, brochures advertisement and how to reach market how to build network and connections
so the funds for, for such a program is from the Austrian Development Agency. So, but for this program, we had to work together also with Caritas, uh, with conducting the study, who's, uh, but also then with the Afghan associations who helped us in, in, in providing information for the community that this event take place.